at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yo, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm really excited to uh, document and throw you along the ride with Schnellfest 2021 at Circuit of the Americas. I have the Integra here and my dad's Porsche 9972 4 GTS. We got young Chris taping up the lights. Hi. He's gonna be our little pit crew slash personal assistant today. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a novice, so this is my very first track event. Um, don't really know what to expect other than going really fast and hopefully not crashing my car. I do autocross, but I know this is just a whole different league. And from the looks of it, I think I'm the slowest car here. Oh, speaking of, I miss that car. I love that car so much. <laughs> I miss that car. It's all right. Now I have someone to beat on the track, hopefully. <laughs> we got the numbers taped up, just taped up the headlights. I'll show you how she looks. 999. Put the yellow tape on there, kind of giving it the spoon slash WRX look. Hopefully, more of the spoon look. Uh, not a big WRX guy, but that's all right. It's all right. What are you expecting today, Christian? Um, I'm expecting to break new records in our 200 horsepower Honda. Uh, one, 170, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> Let's go look at some of the cars. <laughs> out today are freaking fast man what do you think yeah I mean they're fast yeah compared to the Civic no 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 the Integra is gonna clap all the Ferraris yeah, there's no way. I think we're waiting for the drivers meeting or class right now hopefully we should get on the track soon I know we are going to I think like take a bus or a van and kind of scope out the track and have an instructor talk to us about the lines we are gonna take what we need to do should be fun. A lot of BMWs and Porsches out today. I'm one of the only like Japanese cars here, so gotta represent the 170 horsepower. <laughs> Oil is essential. Oil is essential. We're in one of the pit garages now with the uh, Ford GTS. Had to get a center lock wheel inspection. Got these beefy boys on here. My dad's kind of testing how he fits with the new helmet. See how the car feels. Legendary track right there, boys. What do you uh, What do you expect in here today? I'm gonna probably take her up to limits. You know. Uh, oh yeah. See how she runs. First time. Yep. Gun it. Yep. And. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Break any records? Yeah, my goal was just to kind of lean in today a little bit, let some other guys feel good about themselves, and then after that, smoke them. Uh, obviously, yeah. Nice. Gap them. Gap them. <laughs> going to the classroom drivers meeting now and we're gonna learn a little bit about the track and things to do and what to expect should be pretty informative pretty educational I'm ready to learn let's go
All right, so we just finished our driver's meeting, a uh, little driver's course as well. Finally got my little sticker, which means I am ready to go. We're gonna wait about 20 minutes, maybe grab a bite or something, and then we're gonna head out on the track. Uh, my instructor should be driving my car the first time around, just to kind of give me some pointers and a little bit of an idea of what to look out for on the corners and what to expect on the course. We got the uh, GoPro mount set up right here. Hopefully it holds. And yeah, Integra's all ready to rock. Adjusted the tire pressure a little bit. Got the stickers on. Tow hook secured. I know it's a little rice, but it uh, it's functional, so it's okay. Really, really excited. It's a super, super hot day. So hopefully I can roll my windows down or something. I'm dying out here in the Texas heat. But uh, there's some sweet cars here, man. And uh, everyone seems pretty amped to get out on the track for the first time. There's a lot of new novices with me. Should be cool. Uh, hopefully no one hits me or I don't hit anyone. But uh, you never know what happens. Anything can happen on the track, I guess. We're just on our way to get some food and look at this. Look at this. The wide body looks so good on this car. Oh my gosh. RSR? I don't know, it kind of gives me the RWB, RWB vibes, but I don't know if it's an actual RWB kit. Someone in the comments tell me if it is. But the paint and the way this thing is put together is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is. I think it is. I'm looking at pictures, it, is. it looks very similar. It looks just like the RWB kit. Whoever has this has some really good taste. We just got called up to grid, so we're gonna head over to grid now. Super excited, gonna meet my instructor, and I think he's gonna drive the car for a lap, and then we're ready to go. What was that you were gonna say? <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll see you on the bridge. first time on the track. Uh, my instructor is really helpful and did a great job teaching me the corners and kind of getting familiar with braking points and acceleration and how to hit the apex and everything. I definitely learned a lot but unfortunately my passenger seatbelt's acting up and it's not locking and it's a huge safety hazard so I really hope we can fix it or figure it out because I want to get some more laps in but if not I'm kind of booted for the day um, and I'll have to kind of document the rest my dad and everything that's going on but I'm gonna go to the second driver's meeting now, learn a few more things, and then uh, hopefully we can figure out what's wrong with my seatbelt. Okay, so I just talked to my driving instructor. I have my car parked in one of the uh, pit garages right now. We managed to fix the seatbelt and get it to lock. Um, hopefully it stays working for now. It's just a huge safety hazard, and we realized that if we can't fix the Integra or 
becomes an issue, I'm just going to drive the 4 GTS, which will be a total blast. Um, I'm here with Christian. Special thanks to him for filming the, uh, the Integra on one of the passes, I think between turns 6, 7, 8 and the S's. Um, I'll do a clip right now. We're just waiting now for my instructor. He's going to go out there at 3.30, and then I'm going to do a ride along in his Porsche, which I'm really excited about. He's just going to kick it balls to the wall. And uh, hopefully I can soak up some knowledge from that and uh, apply it to my next run in the Integra. And if not, I'm driving the Porsche and we'll get a sweet POV of that. Tackling these corners and hitting the apex right is a lot harder than I expected it to be. Uh, it's total blast and total fun, but getting through the corner as efficient as possible and coming out as fast as possible is becoming tough. I'm still trying to figure out the best braking point for my car because I've never ridden this track before, but um, hopefully with these next couple laps I'll figure it out. The Integra seems to be driving pretty well. Um, my instructor had one before and he was talking about how mine feels a little choked up though and I think because I'm burning so much oil my cats have been getting clogged up over time so might have a uh, little little exhaust coming soon. That might have to be next before I uh, tackle the engine. We'll see. What are you up to, man? How's the race? Just filming. Uh, we're up against BRZs and 370Zs. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty whack. So we're here now in the pits. We're getting into the Cayman. This thing is pretty sweet looking. We'll see you guys in the track. right after. I'm um, really excited, got to learn a little bit more and kind of understand how to take the lines, especially with a more powerful car, and how to handle the speed in the corners and where you're supposed to be. So hopefully I can apply that to this run and it's going to be a little bit better than my last one or my first time on the track. was a freaking blast um unfortunately i didn't real i didn't uh, i didn't turn on the stupid gopro on my first lap and then when i turned on the gopro my freaking car went into limp mode and the check engine light went on and the engine's cutting at like 4500 rpm so i'm gonna have to figure that out but uh man the second time around i was doing a lot better uh, i felt a lot better and more confident with it um, i was definitely taking the corners a lot more properly um that was definitely one of the most fun I've ever had in this car. But look at this now. Literally on the track, my check engine light decided to pop on and it's in limp mode now. So my instructor was telling me that he said it feels like my car is choked up a little bit. So it could be like a cat or something, hopefully. Um, I think I have an OBD2 scanner, so I'll have to um, 
to figure that out now. What Did happened? you see what happened, dude? No. My check engine light went on and it went into limp mode. Did you see me pass the Porsche, though? I, I don't know. I didn't see it pass, but I saw, I saw you pull in and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. The, my, lap, my lap before that, I just passed I passed two Porsches. One in the corner and then one on the main straight there, yeah. Maybe I caught a video of it. What? I don't know if I caught a video of it. Oh, I hope you did, dude. It was, it was so awesome. It was awesome. Um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out what is wrong with my check engine light um, and then hopefully I should be taking one final lap on the track in my dad's Porsche and I'll try to record that for you guys <sighs> Big day Of course first time I take the guard to the track things go wrong, but uh, That's what happens when you own a 90s JDM car, <laughs> I guess Driving pretty hard well, if you made it this far in the video, one, you are awesome, and two, just want to remind y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. As I'm editing this now, I'm realizing that it's really long, so I'm gonna cut it into two parts. This is part one, and part two will be posted alongside this video. I'm gonna throw the link to that in the description below. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. A lot of things planned coming up, especially this summer as well, uh, so stay tuned for that. Got a lot of cool things with the Integra and the Civic and a lot more of stuff like this. Let me know what you guys think, what I could do better. I know the uh, GoPro quality is kind of bad and I'm working on getting my camera fixed. So hopefully in the next couple videos, uh, things will start rolling and looking a little more smooth. But in the time being, thank you so much again for watching. Um, if you want to check out more of my stuff, go on my Instagram at m3woke. And we also have a subreddit now, r slash m3woke, where you can post your builds because eventually I want to start doing reactions and commentary videos as well. So. I'll see you there. Have a great day, guys. Peace. Till next time.